Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hope everybody is doing well today. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So we want to thank our newest patrons. Thank you so much, Teresa. As Patreon keeps moving forward, and thank you guys so much for that. You keep us going. Now, in case you missed this, let's just listen. It's also, of course, true with COVID, right? We are all only as healthy as our neighbor is on our street, in our city, in our region, in our nation, and globally. And did we solve that? Like, did we actually manage to vaccinate everyone in the world? No. So highlighting water as a global commons and what it means to work together and see it both out of that kind of global commons perspective, but also the self-interest perspective, because it is it does have that parallel. It's not only important, but it's also important because we haven't managed <laughs> to solve those problems with, which had similar attributes. And water is something that people understand. You know, climate change is a bit abstract. Some people understand it really well. Some understand it a bit. Some just don't understand it. Water, every kid knows how important it is to have water. When you're playing football and you're thirsty, you need water. So there's also something about really getting citizen engagement around this and really in some ways experimenting with this notion of the common good can we actually deliver this time in ways that we have failed miserably other times and hopefully we won't keep failing on the other things but anyway, that's all well i'm glad that they're failing miserably i mean you know they they do enough as <laughs> saying oh gosh that's such an understatement they do enough well you know if they if they really really did want to help humanity just disband, you know, just disband, better yet, get off planet. But anyway, going back to this, uh, talking about the plague upon the land, talking about obviously water and climate change being too abstract. No, it's, it's not too abstract. We're getting it. People are getting it. Yes, dear sheep, please think long and hard. Yes, no, it's not that it's too abstract. It's just people get it. And they don't believe you because you guys are a lying bunch of, oh, yeah. How come if it's only, you know, weather conditions that bring it about, do you have a plane next to a plane? Or maybe that's not a plane. Maybe that's one of their drones or something else. Yeah, we know. <clears throat> we know. And it's starting to really, even the dogs are looking up in the air and they're like, yeah, yeah, that lady's full of it. Yeah, those aren't the clouds that they remember. No, absolutely. So they said water, right? And what do we see? We see water increasingly at the center of conflicts from Ukraine to the Middle East. So obviously, the control system creates the conflicts. The conflict's purpose is to move forward the control system's agenda. It's just that simple. And, and people are waking up to that. Um, oh, you know, a lot more, which is a good thing. It's good. Yes. Again, please be loud mouthed. Yes. Uh, please get out there and scream from the rooftops. You know, put your soap boxes out there, bang pots and pans together and, and point to the sky and wake the world up. You know, it's it's only our water and stuff. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, you know, I go back to this video, which I put up in January of uh, 2018, January of 2018 where I shared with you guys what the guides had shared with me back in high school as I was sitting in, in one of my classes and I was just kind of zoned out. Um, I started to get these impressions and then I started to get these dreams after. And I didn't understand what I was seeing as I was seeing drones. And, and back in, in 1983, uh, et cetera, there weren't really drones everywhere, and that we, at least ones that we saw. And I did see the time period I saw um, the U.S. being invaded by R Russia, China, and other countries, as well as what looked to be, um, which might have been past life, uh, an, an alien invasion, as, as Cindy um, was helping me ascertain what were these other visions that popped in of the sky full of so many lights that it looked like an alien invasion, but... That could have been the last go around because, again, we're on this spiral. It's spirals. Time spirals. We go through these cycles of the yugas. But what I really, uh, what really I want to talk about in this one was the robotics and the drones. 
Um, because again, back in 1983, 1984, when I was getting all these pictures and images, uh, I didn't understand them. It looked like eyes in the skies watching us everywhere. I saw uh, more modern cities than what we had back in the 80s with hair metal and all that. Um, great years, by the way. More modern cities that look more like what we have now out in the Far East with, you know, uh, amazing skyscrapers, um, clean and neat, and completely monitored by artificial intelligence. I mean, such so that, you know, a drone might come and buzz you if you're stepping off the sidewalk before the light turns type of thing. Meanwhile, we see drones are being used, as you see uh, reports of a targeted assassination in Gaza, by a drone strike. You know, drones carry out so much of the wars on the planet now. And, and they've openly talked about giving AI the go-ahead to make its own mind up on when it wants to take humans out. Now, the reality is the humans are pawns for the AI. And most people don't understand that what we have going on is extraterrestrial and interdimensional as well. And ultimately, uh, the organic life forms are being controlled by AI already. They're just getting you ready in stages for understanding this. You know, when, when you go online and you're, you're signing into something or you're signing up for something and... Um, you get these uh, these photographs that come up and the caption is, you know, check all the lights or check all the buses. And then you ha have to hit the sign saying you're not a robot. So we have to prove to a robot that we're not a robot these days. Yeah, <laughs> prove that you're not a robot. <laughs> Can you prove that? <clears throat> yeah, well, check this out. Here you have New York City is preparing to use robots, drones and bomb sniffing dogs to defend against the pro-Palestinian protesters for the New Year's Eve ball drop. Looks like New York City can't have things nice anymore. Mayor Adams is sounding the alarm, saying he's sure there will be attempts to disrupt the event because everybody looks for events like this if they want to do bad things. The variety of tools, whether robots, drones, bomb-sniffing dogs, all those things are in play, said former Deputy Commissioner Richard Esposito. Announcement came after pro-Palestinian protesters clashed with police over the Christmas holiday as they call for the cancellation of Christmas. And uh, there's tons of expletive deletives in there. And, we, and we've seen the protests are growing. They're only going to keep growing, especially as people awaken to the bigger picture. You know, we understand what's going on over in Gaza. Israel is horrendous. It's one uh, major crime against humanity and atrocity uh, that's been played out in front of our faces. But over time, there, every year there, there are other atrocities that most people don't even notice. There has never been a year <laughs> where we don't have wars. There's never been a year where somebody is not suffering. And there's really only one major problem because I really truly think that most people, most, and you know, we can't necessarily define an exact number of what most is as we all are being hit by different energies, different frequencies, diff different energies different events that give us different emotional response. But most people want to just simply live their lives and get along peacefully. It's the system that creates division. And it's funny, too, because you'll have the policing agencies, military and policing agencies, talking about bad guys and people that want to do bad things but then they do bad things they're the ones that do bad things they're the ones that instigate bad things maybe they'll you know maybe you'll have people from uh the cia doing bad things in other countries over there and we'll have you know people from over there doing bad things over here the reality is uh these agencies most people in these agencies don't understand that you know it's not really a national agency there is a power structure above any nation and above any corporation and it's all just simply about keeping humans occupied putting down humans and here we have an ai fighting robocop keeping an eye on new york's subways and and we're seeing these more and more we're seeing certain types more and more these 
little R2-D2-ish uh, type ones. This is in New York. And here's two ro robots patrolling Denver. Uh, parking garages are more coming absolutely you're going to be blown away by what's going to come especially after the war everything shifts after the war uh, that's that's the big um, that's the nexus event for uh, the dawning of a completely new age as you see this guy his hands are up he gives is he afraid of this guy that guy or the drone and the <laughs> four-legged dogs that looks to have some heavy, uh, heavy firepower mounted to its back. Uh, yeah, eventually it probably will have lasers on the back and or maybe 50 caliber. I, I think they already have mounted 50 caliber uh, guns on the back of those robo dogs. And coincidentally, remember that sci-fi movie, The War of the Worlds Redo? I, I think it was a Netflix series that they had. Yeah, <clears throat> they come and they exterminate. They're just looking for humans to exterminate. And who 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 sent them in the first place? Humans. Yeah, but it gets into time traveling and other stuff. Here's a seventy thousand dollar robot that will make you a smoothie, and other ones that will you know terminate you are out there as well. Yeah, and this right here is um, Brad uh, Brett Adcock. Founder, Figure Robot, AI Robotics, and Archer Aviation, right? And, of course, everybody's picture looks more and more like AI and, and a simulation because they want us living in a simulation. I mean, we know about the metaverse, et cetera, et cetera, and still people embrace um, this full-heartedly. 2024 will be the year of embodied AI. Let that sink in. 2024 will be the year of embodied AI. Again, you know, you're seeing mass productions. There, there's already probably massive armies of these things ready to go on the planet when humans won't, uh, you know, go along with the control system anymore. Uh, it, it's coming and they're telling us and this is the next stage so what i was seeing uh like 40 40 years ago was actually probably a f just a few years in the future after the war with the people that choose to go into the smart cities uh, because every single thing you do is going to be monitored by embodied ai Mm -hmm. I, because you know the AI is just there to take orders, and it doesn't have any any gut to tell it to do anything differently, and that's what they need. Well, the reality is the AI is what's giving the orders at the very highest level, and it doesn't have a heart. <laughs> and it's it's pretty apparent when we look at the leadership of this world that they don't have hearts. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, here's what's his name. It's Gil Bates. What's Gil Bates doing? There's there's some sort of big. Oh yeah, Dubai. Okay, he 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 flew to Dubai. He's got a big meeting. Let's listen to what Gil has to say. I'm here in Dubai, and of course, I flew in on my private jet. Uh, very very important meeting. Uh, the issue of you peasants eating bugs uh, will be discussed at length. Uh, that's never gotten the attention it deserves. Um, the issue of COVID-19 not killing off enough poor people and my vaccines not weeding out the rest of you bastards, which is a tragedy, of course. We'll talk about using killer robots next. Uh, Chat absolutely solved that problem. I'm here in Dubai. Okay. Now, obviously, this is a meme. You see C3P, -M, well, C3P meme. Uh, but, you know, if you could read his mind, <laughs> And so many of us really can. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, meanwhile, the struggle goes on. And here you see Mother Nature wielding a crab, fighting the AI Transformers. You know, again, think about this. Our kids are very familiar with Transformers. They're ready for whatever comes. And, and you think about <clears throat> how they've turned everything upside down, inside out, and have you ever noticed in the movies that they, they're constantly making the robots the good guys? And uh, the AI the good guys? E e yeah, yeah. And, and our saviors? 
Mm. You know, just like I remember when I was younger, they had all these um, cowboys and Indians movies, and they always made the Indians out to be so horrible, horrible savages, and and the cowboys were always the good guys. Yes, again, the inverse the inverse is usually closer to the truth, as as again the the victors write the history. Uh, we've touched on that in so many different ways, and yet here we go again. Here we go again on our own. And on our own. Yes. Thank you guys again for your support. Look forward to the comments. Much love. God bless and namaste. Namaste.